our Aegis Iron Feature Tractor this week is a rare white 270 owned by Gary, Chad, and Dan Preisel of Mondovi, Wisconsin. What makes this rare is they've made a fair number of 270s, but this thing has how few hours on it? 65.7. Uh, 65.7. 65 65 yep. And here we are in Mondovi, Wisconsin. However, this tractor came all the way from? Uh, just south of Albany, New York. You gotta explain to me, Dan, this is a low hour, an incredibly low hour tractor. What's the story behind that? Yep, um, the story that we were told was the dealer found out they were gonna quit making the 270s. Um, the 270 mechanical was his favorite tractor that he had. So he ordered two of them for the dealership, one for the dealership to sell. Right. Uh, then another one for his own personal farm and collection. Um, he told his son when he brought the tractor home, you and me are the only two that drive that tractor. One day he happened to come home from the dealership. Hired man was out in the middle of the field raking hay with it. He went out, unhooked the rake in the middle of the field. Tractor got drove back to the farm, put in the back corner of the shed. She'd never seen daylight again. And that, and that was, was in 1985. Tell me about the condition of the tractor when you found it. It was in the shed and we, it, the, the paint's immaculate. But it even has markings and some of the tags that, were, that came with the tractor right off the factory floor. Correct, yep. Um, it's got the markings on the frame, uh, WC with paint marker yet, uh, that indicated that the dealer will call. So the oh. dealer went and picked it up themselves at the dealership or at the factory. Um, it's also got markings of the last three of the serial number on the front weight bracket on both sides so they could tell what tractor it was as it was going down the line. Um, and the biggest thing is on the other side, it's got the original two paper tags still wired onto the fuel line uh, that describe the engine oil break in that to drain it after the first 20 hours. And also that the tires, when it was shipped, are overinflated and to make sure you deflate them before you use them to drive the tractor. Now, besides collecting tractors, you guys, you, you run a restoration business and you also buy and sell antique tractors. Tell me a little bit about that. Correct, yep. Um, in the shop here, we started out mainly dealing with just for the local farmers, fixing their tractors. Uh, kind of evolved into uh, doing our own restorations most of the time. Right. Uh, but now lately, now we're getting into uh, starting to do restorations for other people. If someone's interested in getting a tractor restored or are interested in picking up one of the tractors that you that you have for sale, how would they be able to get a hold of you? Um, they can give us a call here at the shop um, or else they can find us uh, all of our infos on our website, uh, tractor-dr.com. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.